okay then let's solve this one there are two masses 5 kg 10 kg this is the pulley system is left as shown and then you have been asked what's going to happen to the body which one is going to go up which one is going to go down with how much acceleration they are going to go up and down so <clears throat> it's a good problem for the to begin Newton's second law so this time you take a piece of paper and pen and you work this problem properly okay the first thing you sh will appreciate and you should is the acceleration or the velocity or the displacement of both the blocks has to be the same because this is a string and this is not stretchable like spring this is unstretchable string the stretch is negligible and we say we consider that to be zero there is no stretch in the string so if this is going to go up by six or x centimeter this has to come down by x centimeter because the string always will remain straight it will not slack so whatever displacement this is going to have upward this should have have downward or whatever displacement this should have upward the other should have downward so the displacement will remain the same and the same displacement in same time so velocity and acceleration everything will remain the same this very intuitively you can feel now the thing is to write to find the acceleration of the block you have to use Newton's second law of motion you have to see the net force acting on the body and just solve it so we know that there will be some tension acting on both the blocks T let's write the Newton's second law of motion for 10 kg block now in this case it's, it's simple we can understand that 10 kg block is going to go downward and 5 kg is going to go upward because the heavier one will drag the lighter one but even if you assume the other way around, your answer is going to come the same if you, prop, you use the proper sign convention. So we're going to solve the both ways and see that we actually have to bother to find the direction of acceleration or it's just going to come on its own. So this time, first of all, uh, for, the, for the first case, let's assume that the 10 kg is going downward. If 10 kg is going downward, then the equation of motion net force downward would be mg minus t this is that net external force for the block that will be mass into acceleration and if this is going downward this will go upward so this and for this the equation of motion will be t net force upward is t minus mg and that is equal to mass into acceleration acceleration for both will be will be the same you just add these two you'll get 50 is equal to 15a and a will come out as 10 by 3 meter per second square and a is coming positive that means and you know Newton's second law what did it say the acceleration or rate of change of momentum the change in momentum will be in the direction of the force net force we assumed downward we took downward as a positive direction acceleration is coming as positive that means acceleration indeed is downward now if we would have assumed the other way around if 10 kg block is going upward then this t is always away from the body so t is upward plus mg which is 100 is also mg is downward and the net acceleration this is the net force upward and the net acceleration acceleration is a so net force is equal to mass into acceleration if this is going upward this is coming downward so mg minus t is equal to 5a and if you do this you'll get minus 50 is equal to 15a and a will come out as minus 10 by 3 so acceleration is coming out as negative we assume that this is going upward and we took upward direction as positive acceleration is coming out negative that means it is on the other side other side of the assumed direction so acceleration is actually downward so if while calculation in any problem if you're coming getting acceleration in with a negative sign that means it is just opposite to the assumed direction okay
5 kg, 4 kg. With what acceleration this 4 kg block will be moving towards right? And first of all, you would appreciate that it will be moving towards right if there is no friction, right? Because this tension is going to drag it towards right and there is no force to oppose it. So the 4 kg block indeed will go towards right. But the question is with what acceleration? So <clears throat> this is a very basic level of problem and please get your answer. But write proper equations, write proper equations, don't take jump initially. Keep your foot on ground unless you gain some speed. From the FBD, if we if we using Newton's second law of motion, F is equal to MA. Tension is upward and MG is downward. I'm assuming that 5 kg block is going downward. So 50 MG minus T. The net force is mass into acceleration. For this, if you're going to write Newton's second law of motion, there's only one force towards right, that is T. So T should be equal to mass into acceleration. F is equal to MA. You add these two, you'll get 50 is equal to 9a, a will be 50 by 9 meter per second square. This is the acceleration with which the 4 kg block is going to go towards right and this is the acceleration with which the 5 kg block is going to go downward. Okay, pretty easy isn't it? Okay, so carrying a little more with easy problems, 5 kg 3 kg net system is going upward with 2 meter per second square you have to find the tension t here what is the tension in this string find out to find that out you have to first find what is the tension here the whole system if you take 5 kg and 3 kg as the system then this tension becomes the internal force to draw the FBD of the whole system, you don't have to consider the tension. In FBD, we don't show internal forces. We just show external forces. So the external force F, suppo suppose that is T dash, that is the only external force upward and Mg will be downward. So total mass is 8 kg, 80 Newton of force will be acting downward. This is the net external force upward. And this should be equal to mass, which is 8 into acceleration. So T dash, should be equal to 96 Newton. Okay, so T dash is 96, 96 Newton, but <coughs> to find T actually, you don't require to find T dash. It's another thing that we have found T dash. T dash you can find from the FBD of 3 kg straight away without finding T dash. This is uh, T and this is Mg net ex ex external force upward is t minus mg acceleration is mass into acceleration f t minus mg should be equal to mass into acceleration so t should be equal to 6 plus 30 36 newton should be the tension in this string for the given situation okay Okay, so now I'm going to give you one problem which you should solve orally just by looking at it. Suppose this is 40 Newton, then you have to find the tension T1 here and you have to find tension T2 here. Finding it is pretty simple, it's quite damn easy. So find, don't use your pen and paper, use your brain. Um, what is the value of T1? To find the value of T1, actually you, you get your answer first. The value of T1 will be 30 Newton and the value of T2 will be 25 Newton. 